Namaste. My name is Namrata Thapa. I'm a yoga instructor and owner of Hamsa Yoga Shala. I want to first of all begin by saying thank you so much to Innoville Orchid Club for inviting me and to share a little bit about my yoga journey on their episode. If I have to start by saying how I started my journey uh, yoga I was practicing uh, when I was in my school and uh, uh, started getting then I completely forgot about it and then it was actually during my second year of my college when I again get got in touch with it and then started doing uh, not regularly but on and off and slowly slowly eventually I was doing it more regularly and then I saw that I was getting better in it and I had started getting get gaining more confident in my practices and I always knew that um, I wanted to get deeper in this practice to understand it, to understand the root of it, the history of it and to just have a very basic knowledge but the correct knowledge about it. So uh, while I was doing my studies, my bachelor uh, degree and my postgraduate degrees and uh, my BA it was actually during my BA course and my exam uh, when I was about to give my BA exam that I stumbled upon this uh, yoga course, my yoga uh, teacher training course in Rishikesh and I was blown away with it. I was like, okay, I need to take this opportunity and I need to just uh, get myself certified because till then I had realized that I wanted to do something with this uh, with this passion of mine when it came to yoga definitely yoga wasn't as a career was not something that I planned and it happened eventually with my own self realization and my own self uh, uh, you know like uh, understanding what I wanted in my life and what I wanted to do and all so after doing my certification I I, I had uh, made up my mind that I'm just going to come back home to Sikkim and start my uh, class. And I began my class with just one student. And uh, I wanted to start the class because I knew as a person, I'm, I am a person who works very well with routine and timetable. So I knew that if I don't make myself uh, wake up and do it every day, then I'm not going to do it myself. So going to a class and teaching people was actually keeping myself also disciplined and on track when it came to my yoga practices. So that was one of the reasons why I started my class and it just began like that. That it just began with one student in one small uh, room and it has now expanded the room has expanded the clients have expanded and uh, it's been a very uh, long journey but a very very fruitful and uh, I am still very grateful that I made that decision and I went forward and did my yoga teacher training um what motivates me is uh, definitely the growth and the changes that yoga has brought in my life uh, this is something that i would always want to give some someone else to and i felt that through teaching of yoga i can do that even if the person cannot experience the same experience that i had but it will bring some positive kind of ex uh, experience in their life that i was 100 percent sure about so servicing other people in that way was something got me motivated and i and i have been still doing it and uh, the changes and the uh, changes not in in not in not physically but uh, changes in their personality and growth and confidence when you see your clients growing as a person in that way in that aspect it is such a nice and humbling experience and it just keeps you motivated and keeps you uh, makes you wake up every single day for your morning classes and evening classes and makes you uh, do the hard work that you have always been doing so uh, yes my client motivation is what inspires me and motivates me along 
hurdles are always going to be there ups and downs are always there in everyone's life uh, the person who is in the top or is reaching the top i'm sure that person has uh, faced 100 hurdles before they reach there so even in a professional way just to make your business grow or uh, make your uh, shala grow and get more people in and everything there's always going to be up and down and ups and downs and you need to still work in your market marketing ways and I'm still learning all that so uh, the hurdles are always going to be there you need, don't need to get defeated it is just the way how you can uh, the perspective you have upon that is how you are going to deal with it and you are going to come out of it so that is how I have always dealt with any kind of a hurdle that comes I am if even if I am defeated but I am going to get back uh, get back and but much more stronger and much more fiercely so you need to channelize that energy uh, energy and uh, make use of it for your own um, advantage so <laughs> yeah so hurdles will just come and go don't worry so when it comes to advice or uh, the message I want to give all the viewers, especially the younger generations, are that um, education is important. Education is very important. You need to complete your uh, studies and everything. But I would also say that uh, don't just completely depend, be dependent upon that. You need to have or build a skill or a, a, you need to have a craftsmanship, if I can say that you need to have that because you never know that skill or the little hobby that you had during your you know childhood it can be something that you would be doing during your adulthood and the rest of your life so uh, I would definitely say concentrate on your educations but at the same time keep learning new skills keep learning uh, new things that are, that are there in the world now now the world is completely different you don't need to have a 90 degree percentage and every Everything to be successful in life you need to be creative you need to have a skill like I said and you need to know how to make use of um, of the opportunities that are there uh, in front of you so build up your skills guys and keep learning always learn learning never stops whether you are very young old uh, my age i'm still learning so keep learning and always keep yourself motivated you are your number one cheerleader and no one's gonna come and cheer for you every day so you need to self-talk yourself say all the affirmations you need to say to yourself and get yourself moving keep moving that is the way you do it thank you so much and uh, i hope i helped you in some way and uh, thank you so much Bye.